So today I'm going to be showing you this summer look. It's a warm tone eye look and a hot lip. So I thought it would be very cool for summer and it gives that bronzy glow. So I'm going to start off with the CoverGirl Foundation True Blend in the shade Ivory. So I'm just going to use this uh, like kabuki brush. Not like a true kabuki brush, but it's locked. And I'm just going to smoothly circle it all over the face to get a bit of full coverage. But we are going to add other products to the face. So we don't need a ton of coverage, but just enough to cover the face. Um, this warmer look is going to be really nice for summer. It's going to give that glow and just the type of shine you need. Now, I know this foundation isn't exactly my true color, but I've been waiting for a Tarte foundation to come into my Sephora store. Um, it just hasn't come in yet, which is kind of disappointing because I've been waiting a while, but that's okay because they can't really um, help when orders come in. So um, hopefully it'll come in soon and I'll be able to use my true color because this one is, um, it's one of those foundations that turns as the day goes on. So it gets more orange as the day goes on, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. We will work with it. So this foundation is a bit of a uh, glowy foundation. Um, I prefer a matte, but this one is really like light and colorful. So that is my foundation. Next we are going to be using uh, color correcting sticks and concealer. So I'm going to take the Say No to Redness by Essence. This is a new product I picked up, and if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that. Um, I'll put my Instagram down below so you guys can check that out. So we're just going to put it on spots that I think would show up a bit red through um, other products that we're putting on our face. And you can also tell a bit more because um, we have foundation on, so then you can see like really what's going to show. Um, the thing I like about these is they're so affordable and they really work very well. Not as well as a very high-end product, but they're still really good for the price. So we're just gonna uh, dab it into the face. I'm not dampening my Beauty Blender because I want all the product to um, stay on the face just because it is color correcting. And then after we do that, I'm just gonna brush it out into my hairline and down on my neck bit more so that we don't get those harsh lines because those are never fun and it's we're going to be using the essence say no to dark circles so it's like a peachy color we're going to put it right in the corner of the eye i have very bad dark circles so this product it it works on me it doesn't fully work but i mean it tries its hardest and it's very affordable for the price and again we're going to be using the beauty blender so I think it would work very well on many other people but it's just hard for me because um, of how dark my circles are they have lots of blue tints so hopefully I can find something maybe to coat that but I also conceal it so that helps too so now we're going to be going in with um, the Smashbox highlight stick from the contour trio that I purchased. Um, this is a little too dark for a highlight on me so I just use it as concealer and it works actually really well. So I just stipple it over the dark spots of my eye and then again blend it out with the beauty blender and I kind of twisted it a bit just to get the full coverage because I stippled it. And then we're going to use the Revlon Color Stay, um, like almost like a banana shade. It's pressed powder and it's in light. We're going to take this um, blush brush and we're just going to swirl it. And we're just going to go under the eye where we put our products. We're gonna also going to go on the nose and in the T-zone just so that it doesn't get super glowy all day because this one is more glowy and a bit on the chin. And we'll keep it spell. So next we are going to do eyeshadow so I'm very excited to do eyeshadow so I'm going in with an eyeshadow base by Essence I love this brand I have so many new things from them and they're great so 
this product really holds the eyeshadow on. I just dip a little bit on my eye and then I blend it in with my finger um, and it holds the product on so well. Um, I would recommend it to anybody because I'm going to be using a bit of shimmer shades and matte and sometimes you feel like your shimmers kind of um, go away during the day but no, these ones hold and these aren't like higher end makeup shadows so that's awesome. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Nudes palette and the Au Naturel palette from Icing to do um, the makeup today. We're going to start off with the um, Au Naturel palette and just this like fluffy brush. We're going to be taking a taupey shade right here and we're just going to smoke it out over the crease. We're going to go in like this, like a windshield wiper, and then out in a circle for form. And repeat those steps on the other eye as well. If um, you don't like how the color's going on, or if you're trying to match it and stuff, and you want depth, because in this look I really went for depth, um, just try out different shadows, add more or less if you need that. Um, yeah, just try it out. Then we're going to go in with this darker, um, almost like golden tan color with the same brush and we're just going to circle it and we're going to bring it a little bit on the inner corner, or the outer corner, sorry, but not as far with the windshield wiping. I know it's kind of a funny word, but it's just what I use. I got on the other eye. And then we're going to take the other palette, Maybelline Nudes, and I wanted to add more depth, so we're going to take this chocolate brown color right here. We're going to go in, because it's darker, we're going to tap the brush, and we're going to go just in the outer corner. That's it, just in the outer corner. We do not want to go any farther than that. It's just going to add that really dark look that we want, um, but also that like depth. And just repeat. Then we're going to go back with the Au Naturel palette and we're going to go in with this flat brush, I guess. We're going to go in with this, um, I feel like it's a plum tone, but has a bit of um, orange in it. We're just going to go over the lid and it's really shimmery, like super shimmery. And we're going to go in the other eye. I'm going to swatch this for you because I feel like you need to see how shimmery that is. Swatch my hand right here. Like that's crazy. I love those shadows. They are so pigmented. Um, if you feel like you need to, just um, clean up a bit with a, a plain brush and sweep it over just in case you find your lines too harsh or something like that. Um, then we're going to go in the old Natural Palette again and this first shade is like a frosty pink take this little pointy brush gonna go in the inner corner and down on the lower line a bit inner corner and lower line and then we are whoops and then we're gonna apply mascara and eyeliner gonna take another product by essence their gel eyeliner and this little fine tip brush I know it's kind of very black I should probably clean it um, so I'm just going to dip into this pot, um, and don't mind my eyeliner, I haven't done eyeliner in quite a while, so I just thought it went really well with the look, so I'm just going to put that on, um, and it's just a small liner, not a dramatic wing or anything, just a nice, simple liner. Um, I know you shouldn't pull on your eye, but I, I do, I find it hard not to, um, I'm just going to press right here. To give it a bit of a wing, but not a ton. Oh, it's on my finger. So I just applied the eyeliner to the other side. Now I'm going to go in with the Voluminous Superstar by L'Oreal. I'm just going to take the second end and I'm just going to apply. Um, I haven't really found a mascara I love. Um, and I'd like to hear your comments if you love a mascara. I feel this one lengthens, but then I have to go over it several times 
for it to get the volume that I want, um, which is difficult, but um, I'm working with it. I just want to know if any of you have found um, a mascara you really love, because I would love to try out what you suggest. And just on the other side... Next is eyebrows. I'm very excited for this because I don't know if I do my eyebrows differently than other people, but I feel like um, I do a good job on them. So we're going to go in with the eyebrow kit from e.l.f. and the tinted brow mascara from NYX. I also want to try the brow mascara from Essence uh, just because it um, seems like a good product and all the other products are really good. So I'm going to go in with this brush and I'm just going to brush my eyebrows. And I like a higher arched eyebrow, so I'm just going to brush it out to how I like it. And then I'm going to take this fine tip brush from e.l.f. and the like wax stuff, I guess, in, in brown. And my color here is light. And I'm just going to outline my eyebrow and then fill it in with this stuff. And then go over my eyebrow with the tinted brow mascara. So fill it in, just like that. And because I want it a bit darker, tinted brown mascara, and I have brunette. And I think this shade is like dark enough for me, and I think it's really nice. It's well, it's brunette, and I'm brunette. But I was gonna go with espresso when I first got it, but um, I thought this one would be better. So we're going to do highlighting, blush, and all that fun stuff. I'm going to be using the NYX Cheek Duel Palette, the Too Faced Blush in Peach Beach, and an Essence Eyeshadow. So just for the first part, if I can open this, we're going to be using this lighter shade in the Cheek Duo, and I'm just going to make a triangle underneath my eye just to kind of conceal over the concealer, kind of pat it down a bit more. Um, and I, I want a more dramatic highlight, so I don't use this as my highlighter, um, just because more dramatic, you know, cheekbones, all that fun stuff. So that's all. Then we're going to go in with this blush brush and the darker shade in the, in the palette, and we're just going to bronze, summer glow, up at the top of my head, down to the temple, and then down on the line of your jaw, and then right in there. Because you want that depth, right? With the look of contour. Um, I don't want to bronze too much, just because you don't want your face really dark, but you still want a nice contour. And then we're going to go in with blush before we highlight. Um, now, usually I swirl the whole brush, blush brush, into the pan, but today, because I don't want a harsh pink line because I'm trying to get that summer glow, we're going to just use the tip right here of the heart, and we're going to swirl upward. Make sure to get on the apples of the cheeks. Um, I adore this product. It's probably my favorite one right now. Just like, the packaging, how it applies, how smooth it is, and everything like that. So I'm using this Essence Eyeshadow as my highlight in the shade Apricotta, um, number 8. I want to swatch this for you because I don't think you understand how pigmented it is. This was $2, and look, that is crazy. I'm going to swatch it on my hand too. Look at that shine. That is crazy. I'm in love with it, and I've used it on my lids before, and it's beautiful. And then I used it as a highlight the other day, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So we're just going to highlight like this, and I almost do like a C pattern right by the eye. And it just gives that um, beautiful effect, and like almost like iridescent when you turn one way and the other. It's like another color sort of thing, like a white and then pink, white then pink. So I really love that product. Again, I love Essence. It's an awesome product, or brand, sorry. Also from Essence, for lips, we're going to be using a lip liner in the shade Cute Pink 07 and 07 Sparkling Miracle. I'm going to swap this for you because I really enjoy this color. It's a sheer shine. 
So now I'm going to apply the lipstick. The lip liner is actually quite light, but I'm just going to go over my lips. And you can really see that it is a shine, shine like a shine color. But I really enjoy this color. I think it's suitable for a lot of people. And uh beautiful for summertime and I think it's a really cute shade um, I prefer it personally but yeah so then we're gonna spray our face with the NYX matte finish and just let that dry and there you have it a nice summer look so thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it hope you got some good tips um, you can definitely change this look make it your own very unique look that um, anybody can use. I think it's very simple and anybody can try it. So I hope you enjoyed and like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell me any videos you want to see next. Um, make sure you check out my Instagram, which I'll put below, and have a very nice day.